Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my spring things video. So this is going to be a common type of video that I'm going to be doing on my channel where I'm filming over the course of several days because one does simply not have time to take an entire day to film with a four month old. So you're going to see a lot of probably these piece together videos over the coming months, but I think it's just the most efficient way for me to get content out there. And so welcome to the first of these, which is a bunch of spring things. Us doing all kinds of things that we always do in the spring, cleaning, outside work, all that good stuff. Oh no, baby is waking up. <laughs> this morning, there was a moving sale posted to our town page and it started about 30 minutes ago and they have listed off a bunch of things. So yard sailing season is back and you better bet I jumped out of bed and am attempting to get dressed. Probably gonna have to get the baby dressed shortly here. And we're gonna run over there and see what we can get. They listed that they have a patio set and we are looking for one with like an umbrella to have over by our little pool area because there's like no shade in our yard. So fingers crossed that it could be something we could work with um, because we're not trying to break the bank. But they also had like a bunch of other stuff listed and I'm very interested. So I thought I would bring you guys along to the yard sailing or at least show you afterward what we got and we are going to boogie and get over there right now before all the good stuff's gone so we're home update <laughs> we went to the sale that was supposed to be this massive moving sale and we got there and there was a bunch of stuff and there were a couple of people hanging around and we thought that they were the homeowners and so we just kind of like looked around and they actually had a air conditioner that we wanted and a rototiller because I've been in the market for a rototiller and so I was really excited and then nobody ever came outside ever like we waited like 15 minutes at this place this other guy came up and he was like hey I was here 15 minutes before you and like nobody has come outside the sale started at 8 it was 9 o'clock and there was no one there. And then now there's like people commenting on the post on the Facebook group saying the same thing. Like, hey, I showed up and no one's there. And it's so weird. Like just very bizarre. We've never had that happen before. Like usually when you have a big sale like that, you're outside, you're like greeting people and like answering questions about items. And there was literally not a soul there. It was so weird. There definitely is a sale going on. There's a bunch of items, but no sellers. So we came home, I'm monitoring the page at the moment to see like if the homeowner comments back. Sorry if you can hear eating noises by the way, uh, Teddy is on my lap eating a bottle right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be monitoring it so we might go back later because I really do want like those two items. So we'll see. Uh, the patio set we went there to look at was really, really like busted. So we probably will not get that. But the other two things were in really good condition. So I really hope it works out. But we'll see. We had to come home, feed the baby. Brandon had to go to the dump. We had stuff to do. So that was kind of a letdown. But just thought I would update you guys. <laughs> I was excited, but that's okay. Moving on. following Saturday from when you last saw me. This is what I'm talking about with these videos where I'm having to film them in segments because I do not have time. I do not have time. So today is Saturday and it is the nicest Saturday we have had all spring so far. We have had a bout of awful weather. Let me tell you, it has been raining for days on end. Days on end. Sorry if you hear baby in the background here. He's just chilling in his high chair um, while I do dishes and uh, Brandon's out for the moment, so he'll be back. But uh, yeah, for right now, little babe has to be in here with me. Anyway, so on Monday we had a basement flood. That was good. We solved that problem by unclogging a drain that was in our basement that we didn't really know about. Brandon actually discovered it. It drains under our driveway. And once we figured that out, it was drained in a matter of 30 minutes. So I don't think we will have another flood again, but that was stressful at the time. It knocked out our well pump. 
Um, and so we had no water for the entire day. It was, it was great. It was an awesome Monday. But today, today is going to be 72 degrees and sunny. There's not a cloud in the sky right now. I'm looking out. We have plans today. This is just the first nice Saturday of the entire spring that we have had. Let me tell you, every weekend has had its problems. It's either been cold and windy to the point that we can't be working outside with the baby or it's like raining. Like there has been place hold. I'm also going to update you on the starter seeds later because those have had an interesting progress so far. They were doing really well and then like I said it got cold and gross out and so the entryway was not probably at its optimal for seed starters. So they kind of stalled but I think they're coming back and doing better. I've been just like keeping a very close watch on them. But yeah, today is going to be kind of some odds and ends projects and I just thought I would bring you guys along. I am really excited for one in particular, which is our new bedding. And I'm going to do that right after I do this once Brandon is back and can take this little nugget. <laughs> All right. Sorry for that brief intermission. We dealt with a blowout. We dealt with taking a nap. We dealt with going outside for a little while. And now a baby is over with Brandon and he is about to take another nap. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to move into my main project for the day um, that I've been waiting to do for literally weeks. Been waiting for nice weather and it's finally happening. I am changing out our bedding for the foreseeable future. So if you've watched our bedroom renovation video way back, I think it was last January I put it out, we redid our master bedroom, which I'm standing in, and I showed you guys the bedding that we have in here, which here she be. We got this bedding for our wedding <laughs> on our registry. My mom got it for us when we were first married in 2020, and I basically like bought this bed and then redid everything in our bedroom and our apartment and then it all came here to this house and we worked our master bedroom renovation around this bedding so it's blue and white and it's like this medallion print and it's actually upside down right now which i'll explain in a second um it's oh well, no I, i'll i'll explain now it's dirty so we flipped it <laughs> Now I love this bedding. I actually have it linked in my master bedroom renovation video because I had no desire at the time to switch it out. I just love it so much. I still love it. And so you might be wondering why on earth are you switching it out if you love it? And the answer is because it's impossible to clean. We have a very large dog who likes to run around and dig holes in our yard and her paws are constantly full of dirt. And we now have a baby. So those are two factors among others, two cats and just us being, you know, eating and spilling things in general that are making this bedding constantly dirty. And yeah, it's white. It actually does not fit in my washer. It, it does, but not um, with enough space around it to properly agitate it, if that makes sense. So every time I would put it in the washer, it just would not get this comforter clean. There was still dirt in the comforter and it was dingy and it just wasn't working. So over the past couple of years, I have developed my own method of cleaning this comforter and it is a day long project. So basically I put it in our tub with washing soda, borax and OxyClean and I strip it. I let that soak and I actually hand agitate it to get the dirt out and then I have to drain the tub and rinse it with clean water drain the tub again <laughs> and then at this point usually I almost throw out my back trying to wring it out and get it out of the tub to put it into the washing machine so that I can then run it through a cycle without soap so that it rinses and spins it to the point that I can then um, lift it out of the washer because if it's full of water it is so unbelievably heavy. I then have to take that wrung out comforter and put it on, on my clothesline so I have to have a nice day to do this and then the drying time is usually several hours and to the point that sometimes when we bring it in it's still damp when we go to bed. So it's a process. And I used to do this like two to three times a year, usually this time of the year, like early spring, middle of summer at some point, and then normally right before winter, because in the winter it would just be too cold to put it out on the line and I wouldn't be able to wash it 
effectively. Now that we have a wood stove, I could technically put it in front of that and dry it out that way, but a hassle, a whole hassle. Now that we have the baby, I don't have nearly as much time to set aside to do this kind of thing. And I also am finding that the comforter is just getting dirtier a lot faster with having the baby and us being in here a lot more. We spend more time in here and it's just like getting filthy, just filth. So I've been in the market for a quilt set for quite a while now. I've really wanted a quilt set just because I feel like it goes with the vibe of our house a little bit better and also nice and lightweight and I knew it would be a lot easier to clean. Back in February, I went on Amazon and just started hunting around. I actually had a Laura Ashley set in my cart and then at the same time I was looking for a couch cover so I decided to head on over to Wayfair. I love Wayfair, our beds from Wayfair, our cribs from Wayfair, our couch cover, our new couch covers from Wayfair. I love Wayfair. They have great sales. Their shipping is fast. I just, I really, really like them. And while I was over there on Wayfair, I saw they were having a huge President's Day sale. And so I thought, let me just see what they have for quilts. And lo and behold, they carry the same Laura Ashley quilt that I had picked out on Amazon. And surprise, I got it for 40% off the price that I would have paid on Amazon. Same exact thing. Okay, so here is the set. So this is the print. It is like a florally print with this kind of quilting all over it. It's a thinner cottony material. They had this in several colors. This color is the spa blue, which I was a little worried about because I thought that would mean it was gonna be more like a baby blue or like a minty blue, but it's actually, it, it is more of a dusty blue. So if you're interested in this one, just know that the color is more of a dusty blue and I think it's going to work really well in here. And then it also came with two shams. Um, so I ideally would have ordered a king in this because I like when our bedding is a, a little bit oversized. But had I ordered a king, it would have come with king size shams. And I don't have king size pillows. So I went with the queen. If they had sold them separate, I would have bought a king quilt and then standard shams but yeah they I didn't see that they did that so anyway um so this is one side of it it's reversible I will show you the inside I'll show you on the shams so this is the other side of it so pretty and I have just one second here some blue and white striped sheets these are mainstays from Walmart do not sleep on their sheets they are so soft so nice we've had these for a hot minute i got these a while ago and they're so soft and they've held up so well the ones i have on the bed actually match a lot better which is kind of funny i'll show you this is what i have on the bed right now um it's like a dusty blue floral <laughs> these are also mainstays walmart guys but yeah i'm just gonna put all this new stuff on the bed and we're gonna see how it looks i'm excited so let's get going all right guys, editing Kaylee here. I just wanted to check in and give you guys a quick little review. It's been about two weeks since I filmed this and yes, it takes me that long to edit videos nowadays. Um, but yeah, we've been sleeping with this thing for about two weeks and so I feel confident giving you guys um, our opinion and it is that we love this set. If you're in the market for a quilt set, I highly recommend. I can say that even with some of the nights being like 30 and 40 degree temperatures, this thing keeps us nice and warm and I just love, love the look of it. It's just, it's great. It's exactly what I was looking for. As far as cleaning it, I know I'm going to just be able to pop it right in my washing machine with how thin it is. For drying purposes, I think I will still probably line dry it because in the reviews it did say because it's cotton, it can shrink easily and we don't want that. Like I said, I like my bedding oversized, so we do not want shrinkage. Um, but because it's so thin, I'm not worried about line drying it. I think it'll just take way less time than the comforter ever did. So 100% a win in my book with this. Though while I was doing this, one thing I do want to replace is our pillows. And I have absolutely no idea where to start with pillow shopping. So I was wondering in the comments if you guys could pop some suggestions. What brand of pillows do you guys like? <laughs> what do you suggest? We're kind of picky. We don't love them super puffy. Um, but we have had these for absolutely forever. And it is definitely time for some kind of upgrade. So please let me know down below what kind of pillows do you guys have and what do you love? And... I will definitely take all of your suggestions into account for the future. 
so I'm a little bit obsessed with this. I love it. It is so pretty, guys. Look at it. The only thing I don't love are the shams um, because they are, like, really oversized. The edges, like, these borders are very, very wide. So it just makes them, like, really floppy. <sighs> but that's okay. Um, in my voiceover, I'm pretty sure I'm asking you guys for pillow suggestions because we need pillows so bad. We've had these forever and I've wanted to buy new pillows, but Brennan and I are pretty picky about them. Um, so we've just been kind of using the same ones forever, but anyway, I love it. It's so, so pretty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll try to link it on Wayfair. Hopefully it's still on sale. If not, they sell it on Amazon too, so you could check both both uh, sites to see, you know, where you could maybe get it cheaper. But yeah, it is just so pretty. I'm so glad this is finally done. Got it. So we're having some lunch. I am feeding a bottle off camera here and we're gonna probably have some puree in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to check in after this, I'm going to be going out and doing some repotting of my starters because they took off a little bit um the pumpkin and the sunflower and some of the watermelon especially have gotten long like vine like i don't think the sunflowers are supposed to be like that but they are and they're growing like weird in their little pots so if you haven't watched my starter video you have no idea what i'm talking about but i planted a bunch of seed starters and they've been growing out in my entryway and we've had a couple of warm days back to back so They've really been growing quite a bit and I think they are going to be perfect for the end of this month to plant in the garden. But yeah, we gotta like accommodate them for the time being. So I need to move some of them into bigger pots. Um, so I will show you the progress after I am done with this. And I am also going to be repotting my upstairs office plant that I neglect so terribly and I just feel really bad. <laughs> He has not been getting much love because I don't work up there anymore and I often forget about him. He needs to go in a better spot, but my cats like to um, terrorize him. He honestly wasn't doing that bad up until recently. Um, his soil just really needs to be changed out and he needs some serious watering. So I'm going to do that today. I'm just gonna keep him in the same pot, but just replace the soil. And then I really do need to find a new home for him, but I just don't know where else to put him because my cats have free roam of my entire house. So like, I don't know. He really needs some more sun too. Are you enjoying that bottle? Sorry if you guys can hear him like mowing down on this bottle. We have been in a growth spurt and we're growing very rapidly and he wants to eat constantly he's eating so much more than he was even say two weeks ago he's just going through a major growth spurt and his pediatrician just said if he seems like he's not satisfied like up the ounces and so that's what we've been doing and he seems to be responding pretty good to it but yeah he's he's a growing boy so update on the starters i'm gonna start over here because these are the um good <laughs> the good looking ones um, so as you can see, we've got some little plants started. These took a bit longer to come up, um, especially the bell pepper, but I've got a couple now, which is good actually. And there's one right there and there. Looking good. One back there. And then these are cucumber. Those are coming up good. And then this front one is a cherry tomato. We got a beefsteak tomato looking good in this one i'm gonna keep the lid on these for a bit longer though because again it hasn't been super warm lately and i just want to keep them as incubated as possible then this middle one <laughs> so marigolds are not coming up at all uh one started to and then it kind of fizzled out so i think i think it just wasn't warm enough for these i might just have to go buy marigolds we'll see maybe i'll just plant them outside that one's good though. And that one. Okay, so we've got a couple. Then we've got the watermelon. So this one in particular is pretty long and then this one is like growing straight up. So that one looks fine. And then that one's little. And then we've got the pumpkins. So 
clearly very long. These I'm going to be moving today because they are just taking over. And then I just realized this cucumber is really tall. Hmm. <laughs> and then last one over here. Just hang on, let me let me tuck plants in. These are already looking so much better than a couple days ago though, because they were struggle city. So this one's got some good moisture in there. So okay, so no strawberries. The lavender um, started to come up in one spot right here, um, but mm, yeah, might have to plant that separately outside too. Didn't do well in here. And then the sunflowers, oh, the sunflowers. So a few of them are fine, like this one is fine. This one's very tall. Um, they still have their seeds on them, which are they supposed to? Because I feel like they, I feel like that's inhibiting them, but I'm not sure. These I think I'm gonna move to a different pot because I just feel like they're gonna get too tall too fast. I don't know. I didn't have success with sunflowers last year either. They didn't grow right last year. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the sunflower, but that's this tray. This tray is probably the least successful of all of them, but now we are gonna head out and I'm going to get some of these moved into bigger pots and hopefully that will help them thrive a bit more. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. These are going to get planted outside in the next three weeks or so. And potentially sooner if we keep up this warm weather. I might be able to move them earlier. But the plan is still currently Memorial Day. Because frost is unpredictable here. So we will see. Instagram they're all up there and it's very interesting because 
obviously we have like grown and gotten married and now we have a baby this is baby's first year coming down with us so it's kind of fun to see like how we've changed over the years but that's what we're doing today we thought we would bring you along and I will come back when we are down there we are we just just left the house so um, we are on our way to get our yearly pizza and fries We're at Martell's. Did not get a shot of the sign. Meant to. Completely forgot. Um, but across the way there is Funtown Splash Town. Holla. Have not been there in years. Um, but that's Splash Town. And then Funtown is over here behind all these other buildings. But uh, yeah, it's our little local amusement park other than the one in Old Orchard. So that's good. Um, and then it looks like Martell's is building another mini golf course. Which is cool. I guess it's going to be right here. There's another one out back. But yeah, pretty cool. I need to know in the comments, have any of you ever vacationed here? Because I need to know because I grew up in Bitterford, which is a town over from here. And this is all like normal for me. Like this is where I grew up. Nothing here is like crazy to me. I don't know. Um, but when I went to school, like when I went to Plymouth, a lot of people were like, oh, I vacation in Old Orchard every summer and it's amazing and I'm like oh okay because <laughs> I live here so it doesn't or, or I lived here it doesn't really like phase me I don't know but it was cool to have all of this nearby like there's always something to do in the summer when you live in this area but the tourists I mean it's very touristy so um yeah any of you guys vacation here let me know we see yours Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we are back from our little adventure excursion today and I'm just kind of walking Teddy up and down the driveway. But I thought I would check in and end the vlog here. Uh, we were originally going to get the stuff for our chicken stand today, but because we were out so long and baby's been out pretty much all day, we decided to wait on that. Um, and we'll probably Sorry, it's really windy. <laughs> we will probably go sometime this week instead, and I will include all of that in another upcoming video. So stay tuned to see what we do for selling our eggs. We are hoping to get that kick started soon because we just have so many eggs and they are all laying every day. We get four eggs. And so, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the chicken stand in an upcoming video. 
But thank you all so much for being here and coming along with us during all of our spring traditions and cleaning and all the fun stuff. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing to do is in the spring. Do you have any traditions of your own? And if you like this type of content with homemaking and lifestyle, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. I thank you all so much and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.